Hey, I am joined by Chef Alan Turner. He works with Agribeat. He's their executive chef. Yes. Uh, and, you know, we've been doing a lot of barbecuing over the over the, the summer so far. We want to talk about finding and selecting the perfect cut of meat for our gatherings or barbecues and whatnot. A couple of our accounts here in Boise uh, do stock our product from Double R Ranch. Uh, this product I bought yesterday at uh, 16th and State at the Albertsons there. Uh, our friend Dave Falk out in, uh, at the Porterhouse and Eagles stocks this product as well. So what we're asking for then, this is a, a, a New York steak that's been cut into a roast. And what we're going to do is we're going to grill it, we're going to finish it in the oven, and then now we'll be able to slice this into portions that our guests will want. Now, now, how do I know what to look for in a good slice of beef? The difference between what we usually eat at home and what we get at a restaurant is the grade of beef. This is USDA Prime from Double R Ranch, from AgriBeef, which is Double R Ranch is our brand. And if you can see the marbling, the marbling is flavor, and that's what we want. I promise you, that's what your best restaurants are using. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to season the outside liberally with salt and pepper. You can use any one of the steak rubs that you like or make your own, but for me, if I'm going to buy this grade of beef, I really want to taste the beef. So salt and pepper works fine for me. Now this is a very hot cast iron griddle. A lot of the newer uh, gas grills actually come with a, with a griddle like this, but this is a great way to do it. To sear it uh, on cast iron first, this will give us a really nice uh, finish on the outside, and then we'll go to the oven with it. I have this oven set at 500 degrees, and that's not too hot because we're enveloping this beautiful piece of beef with high dry heat, and it's going to cook faster. Okay, we're at 135 degrees. I'm going to pick this up. And now we have this beautifully grilled New York steak. Isn't that pretty? We're going to set that right there. We're going to take this piece of foil. We're going to put this over it for just a couple of minutes. The reason we do this is to reflect the heat inside so it doesn't chill down, but we want to let the beef rest so that the juices stop trying to get out and stay where they are so we get a beautiful juicy steak. Now, if I've got my kids want something that's a little more done, if I use the outside, I can do that for them. And now let's say I've got an eight ounce steak for dad. I've got a six ounce steak for mom. And so on. I can, I can literally say I'm going to go from one end to the other and, and have a nice steak for everybody depending on the size they want. And in about an hour, we're able to do a nice platter with our steaks and take it to the table. Thank you uh, for coming into the Agribeef Kitchen.